What's up guys, Juicy Mercy here and welcome to a brand new video. And today we are week number 10 of my top 5 transfers of the week. I just want to say this week has been pretty quiet in particular for transfers. And I've pretty much gone through every single transfer this week to try and find a top 5 as well as an honourable mentions page guys. So as always, if you smash 2,000 likes that would be greatly appreciated. In the comments below, let me know you think has been the best transfer of the week. And if you to my channel, class subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And we're going to start off, like I said, with the honourable mentions page. The first bit is going to be Yohan uh, Benalouan. I think that's how you say his name, who is a Tunisian centre-back who has actually joined Leicester City from I do believe Atlanta in the Serie A. I mean I've not heard much of him but apparently it is a good signing and then we have got Jean-Paul Abotius again probably butchered that name but either way he has gone off to FC Basel from Feyenoord and then we go on to Tuba Akpong he's only a 58 rated card he's actually gone on loan to Hull City for the season from Arsenal he actually scored in his debut yesterday as well so it's a big big future for him and now we have got Bakary Sacco to Crystal Palace I think it'll be pretty decent uh, Yellen Via to Sunderland they definitely need a good CDM and finally uh, Sergei Milinkovic Savic He's gone to Lazio from uh, the Belgian Pro League. I think it's like £7 million or something like that as well. Maybe even £5 million. By the way, apparently he's got big potential and that is on honorable mentions. In at number five this week though, we have got Connor Wickham who's actually gone to Crystal Palace from Sunderland. And uh, some people may be thinking, Ross, why is he in the top five? Why is he not an honorable mention? But honestly, um, I'll get into detail about that in a second actually. But he cost him £7 million with a potential £2 million add-on fees on top of that. He's just 22 years old still and he's valued at 3.5 mil. His stats last season really aren't anything to gloat about to be honest. 40 games, 6 goals and one assist but that is in a struggling Sunderland team who had uh, just avoided relegation he's actually playing as a left winger for three of the, uh, a few of them games as well but I mean he's got so so much to prove now he definitely did struggle at Sunderland but I mean with Palace personally this is my opinion again there's no like dig at Sunderland but Palace have definitely got more service um, than Sunderland the likes of Yo and Kabai Balassi Punchin I think he'll get a fair few chances he'll probably be a rotation player as well coming in uh, not starting every single game kind of thing but he still is only 22 years old and again, I do hope he does quite well uh, not just for Crystal Palace but also for kind of England number before we've got another player that's looking to prove himself yet again and that is going to be Raphael to Leon from Manchester United he cost him 2.1 million pounds so actually is pretty like an okay fee I'd say he's 25 years old he's actually still valued at 7 million pounds and last season played 17 games getting one goal and one assist but that was just in 1,100 minutes and I think like 500 of their minutes were actually for the under 21 so I mean in general he didn't get much game time last year because Valencia played better than them um, but I mean there's actually one point in his career I think it's uh, Fergie's last ever season where he's actually very good he actually managed to get himself in the Barclays Premier League team of the season back then as well so I mean he's done pretty well on that front um, but I'll actually go into the actual details why he's my number four then um, he's definitely got a point to prove after being sold by United uh, essentially being like deemed to surplus the requirements I think they call it back up to the part where Sonny wasn't getting much game time 463 minutes of his game time last season was actually for the under 21s next up we've got the Egyptian Mohamed Salah who's actually currently owned by Chelsea he's gone out on loan this year to Roma for the season he's actually cost him three and a half mil for the season last year actually spent a bit of time out for Fiorentino and had quite a successful time as well he's 23 years old and he's still very 12.6 mil. Last season he played 34 games getting 9 goals and 6 assists in 2,126 minutes but again like I said he had a very successful loan spell at Fiorentina. He played 16 games getting 6 goals and 3 assists and that was just in the Serie A as well. He only played 909 minutes as well so I mean he actually got a very nice goal to game in that space of time uh, also on top of that but I mean he's definitely got a point to prove to Chelsea I'd say because if he has a successful time out on loan he could potentially get like a shot at that Chelsea team. I don't know it didn't really work out for him at Chelsea but hopefully uh, he can find some form at Roma and number two we have got Max Allen Gradle. He has left St Etienne in France to join the Premier League New Boys Bournemouth for £7 million. He's 27 years old, he's valued at 4.5 mil and last season played 40 games getting 17 goals and 5 assists. He actually brings some kind of European experience, not just actually playing in France before, but he's actually obviously played for Leeds as well. But I mean, in general, he has played in the Europa League and that's something that probably could uh, quite improve Bournemouth to be honest. Um, but the next bit is going to be, they actually scored, if I'm correct, this may be him, it may not be him, um, but apparently he scored 15 goals since the start of the year, which was the most in France. It does add to Bournemouth's attack. We're currently having Callum Wilson and uh, Josh King and stuff like that. And he has a lot of pace. And I'm not just saying this in terms of FIFA, but in real life, pace is such a big factor nowadays. And he also knows how to beat a man. But at number one this week, we're going to go with a pretty obvious one. That is going to be Angel Di Maria going to PSG. So his saga actually got dealt with very quickly in the space of around two weeks. But he's actually joined PSG, like I said, from Manchester United for £44.1 million. Pounds. And apparently, they're actually having to pay £47 mil because of the medical, which I think uh, PSG were told they could speak to him but not give him a medical. It's something along those lines, so I think it's like 47 mil eventually. But he's 27 years old, he's valued at 35 million pounds. Uh, that's actually deteriorated a lot from last year uh, before he's in Real Madrid. And last season played 33 games, getting four goals and 12 assists. So he was definitely considered a flop at Man United. And uh, despite getting 12 assists, I think those stats are kind of misleading to how well he actually played. Because uh, I think at the start, uh, the games against Leicester and uh, teams like that, he actually played very, very well. He has got a lot to prove now because his last two moves in the last two years have been for, I think, 60 million pounds and 44 mil. So I mean, 
there's a lot of money relying on him and uh, I think in the league on people do consider it a lesser of a league and I think he'll probably shine there you know I had fans are calling him a coward or a snake and I'm not gonna lie I probably actually agree with that because uh, the way he went around it was kind of uh, dodgy because I mean he had a poor season but I don't think he just bail out straight away the only way for him to answer his critics is by turning up for PSG and playing very well which he probably will do so guys so that is gonna cut down some of my top five and again it's a pretty difficult one this week but as always if you enjoyed this video smash the like button 2000 likes would be greatly appreciated in the comments below let me you think has been the best transfer of the week if you to my channel click subscribe button for daily fifa content guys so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time